Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So, unfortunately, we got another Gilbert Arenas hot take. And uh, I'm starting to, like, get annoyed with these because they're so blatantly wrong that, like, it, 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 it's shocking to me that people believe it. You know what I'm saying? So, in case you guys don't know, um, Gilbert Arenas came out, I guess, yesterday or the day before. And I can't find a clip of it on YouTube, but somebody posted it on Twitter. And unfortunately, you can't download videos off of Twitter for whatever reason. It, I, can't, I, I can't find any site to do it. But um, he came out and basically said that Asar Thompson is not a part of the Detroit Pistons future because he's 21 years old and he's only averaging 10 points a game. Okay, now, mind you, this is the same guy who said that Amani Bates at the beginning of the season when when the Cleveland Cavaliers drafted him that, oh, there's there's a new guy in town. Donovan Mitchell better watch the fuck out because Amani Bates is in town. Okay, yeah, you know where Amani Bates is? He's playing in the fucking G League right now. Okay, like anybody who knows basketball knows that Amani Bates was not the next man up. Okay, like, if you watched basketball, yes, did Imani Bates play well in Summer League? Yeah, played pretty damn good in Summer League. Even I was a huge critic of him, but, like, uh, as Summer League went on, he got better. Is he an NBA player? No, not at the current point in time. But this is a man who is, like, going as far to say that, you know, uh... Imani Bates is going to win Rookie of the Year, and he's now going to be the top scorer on their team, right? Right. This is the same guy who said that Kawhi Leonard would never be a great offensive player, okay? Yeah, just so you guys know, okay, Gilbert Arenas, as a rookie, averaged 10.9 points per game and became pretty much the franchise cornerstone piece of the Washington Wizards in the early 2000s, okay? So... He's basically saying that he wasn't a franchise cornerstone because he averaged 10 points per game, 10.9 as a rookie, and then went on to torch the fucking league in like 05, 06, right? So like even he knows that what he is saying is fucking wrong, right? And then if you look at all the guys who averaged less than 10 points a game in their rookie season, there's a bunch of them that are right now superstars in the NBA. Uh, how about Giannis? How about Nikola Jokic? How about uh, Tyrese Maxey is becoming a guy, right? Uh, Reggie Miller, okay? Uh, who else? Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's a whole bunch of guys that in their rookie years didn't average 10 points per game but became very fucking good players. And I'm sure there's many more. But it's just wild to me that, like, there are people out there that actually agree with him. There are people out there like, oh, Gil is cooking today. It, like, yeah, okay, Wh it, where? In a fucking psych ward? You know, <laughs> like, I, I, it, it, like, it kind of irritates me because Gilbert Arenas is becoming what ESPN used to be, all right? Like, we got to come up with a hot take today, you know, and, and get those, those clicks and those likes and those views and stuff. And, like, there are people out there that, like, like Alex Hoops, you know, there's, there's people out there who are smaller content creators who just get their shit stolen by bigger content creators even, all right, that are out here every fucking day putting two, three, four, five hours a day into the shit that they upload, and they go by the wayside, while people like Gilbert Arenas, who by the way only have a fucking platform because of who they were in the NBA or what their fucking name is, okay, like if Gilbert Arenas didn't play a single minute in the fucking NBA, right, his, he would be a fucking nobody on YouTube talking about this shit, because he, he, if these are his honest opinions, they're fucking terrible, like, it just, it's wild to me, man, like, it sucks that people like this get all the notoriety when there's other people out there who make better content, who are even more, you know, logical in, in their opinions, and they go by the wayside, but Gilbert Arenas can get 350,000 subscribers because he came out and said Amani Bates is gonna win Rookie of the Year. You know, it's, it's, it's fucking wild to me, man. And, you know, I, I just like, at the end of the day, I get that he's trying to get clicks and likes, but like even stack. Okay. Steven Jackson was on that podcast when he did that shit and was like, even he was like, okay, but if a SAR Thompson starting out here, then like the, the only way he can go is up. 
right? And compared to Victor Wembanyama, Asar Thompson is getting 9.6 shot attempts a game on a Detroit Pistons team with Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran, Bojan Bogdanovic is there, so now it's probably going to be even less shot attempts, right? And he's averaging like 1.3 blocks a game, a steal, almost a double-double, like 10 points and eight and a half rebounds, and we're out here saying he's not a, p- a part of their future. He's arguably the best defender on their fucking team right now. I mean... It just, it irritates me that these are the people that get the notoriety. These are the people that get the clicks and likes and the views when they simply, honestly, don't fucking deserve it, okay? Gilbert Arenas made millions of dollars in the NBA, and, you know, instead of providing, like, like this is why J.J. Redick does so much better than Gilbert Arenas, okay? Because J.J. Redick not only provides a logical perspective on the game, but he has, you know, People that are actually in the league come on his his podcast and interview them and talk with them. Okay, like if Gilbert Arenas did what J.J. Redick did, he would be significantly better. Like his channel would be significantly bigger. He'd be easier to watch. But instead, no, he would rather be what ESPN used to be. And in some instances still is. So, I don't know, man. You know what? It, It just, when I hear things like this, I think to myself like, this is this is the guy who who's like saying, oh, if I'm the GM of the Detroit Pistons, yeah, Asar Thompson's not my future, bro. If you were the GM of any fucking NBA team, they would be terrible if you truly believe this, right? Like, I'll be honest, <clears throat> okay. I wasn't a fan of Jarrett Walker when we drafted him. I wanted Taylor Hendricks. Taylor Hendricks is riding the bench for Utah, okay. Uh, Jarrett Walker's riding the bench for the Pacers. And, like, not for nothing, man, but even if we look back at guys like even Paolo Bancaro, okay? Paolo Bancaro last year shot, like, 42% from the field and, like, I think 30 per, like, low 30s from three. I think it was, like, you know, 31 or 32% from three. This year, he's fucking cooking it from the field uh, efficiency-wise, right? And, like, I was even in the camp of saying, like, I don't think he should have won Rookie of the Year. I really, I still hold that opinion. I don't think he should have. But just in that one year, he became a significantly more efficient player. Same thing with LeBron and Kevin Durant. And, like, there have been a lot of guys who started out in the NBA who are not good efficiency-wise who became better players. You know, if a player still sucks by their second or third year in the NBA, you know, even you know by their fourth year, if they haven't became the guy you thought they would be, at that point, yeah, you know what? They're probably never going to be the guy you thought they were. But the idea that Osar Thompson is arguably the best defender on that team is averaging almost a double-double as a rookie. And, you know, he's only played, what, 20 games? Like, he's only going to get better. So, like, it just, it's wild to me that, like, we're back to this. You know, coming out with a, a hot take so that way... I know either, I don't know if it's either so people talk about it or talk about him and and go try to view the clip, but he doesn't even have the clip on fucking YouTube to view. So, I don't know, man. You know what? At the end of the day, it is what it is, but it it just, it just irritates me that Gilbert Arenas, a guy who's played in the NBA for so fucking long, okay, like, comes out and says things that are just wildly untrue or just so far out there that you're like there's no way he believes this you know what I'm saying and this is why I hate the the opinion that people go on YouTube in comment sections and go oh he's cooking or you know I was you know more than somebody who played in the NBA bro they, like when you put out takes like this yes yeah there are people out there who legitimately know more than Gilbert Arenas who played in the NBA for I don't know 10 plus years okay so it just irritates me that like these are the kind of takes that get released and people believe it and then they'll say things like, oh, you know, uh, you know, Gilbert Arenas knows best because he played in the league. No, he fucking doesn't. I'm going to tell you right now. No, he doesn't. Okay. He, he has released some of the wildest takes I've ever heard in the past like two or three years. And, you know, it irritates me that it just irritates me that that's what he decides to do. You know, like he decides to come out and say shit that's wildly untrue because it gets clicks and likes and shit. But instead of just doing what JJ Reddick does. Okay. Like. I, you can't tell me that there aren't people that wouldn't go on Gilbert Arena's podcast and just interview them, you know? Instead, he'd rather go on there and, like, talk shit about players than make himself look like a dumbass in the process instead of making the person he was talking about look like a dumbass. So, I don't know, man. You know what? It's gonna be what it's gonna be, but... 
It seems like we are still in the era of the hot take. Even if you are a former NBA player and made literally millions of fucking dollars, you choose to go on the internet and come out with these takes that make you look like a fucking idiot. I don't know, man. I just wish other people got the recognition they deserved instead of Gilbert Arenas because of his name. So, tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. Like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more on the Fast Break Report. And I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.